Law enforcement agencies are routinely asked to conduct security assessment of schools, houses of worship, retail establishments, government buildings, facilities, even private residences. And these requests have increased in recent years, unfortunately due to the occurrence of active assailants and active shooters. Now, police departments, most police departments conduct active shooter training. The problem is active shooter training is reactive. What do you do in the event of the case? And doing a security assessment or security survey, however, is proactive, trying to eliminate the opportunity for it to occur. Security assessment is a critical on-site survey and analysis. And on-site is you have to do it on-site. You can't do it virtually. You can't mail it in. You can't do it by phone. You have to be on-site. And what you do in that case is the first thing is to identify risk. If you don't have a risk, you don't have a problem. So you identify the existing security-related conditions. Secondly, you want to identify security-related vulnerabilities and deficiencies. Then you want to identify or determine what protection is needed and then make recommendations for improvement. That's basically the conduct of a security survey or security assessment. Identify risks, identify vulnerabilities, determine the protection, and make recommendations. There are four fundamental components of a security survey or security assessment. The first one is environmental security. Environmental security can be landscaping, can be lighting, can be access control, it can be fencing. Second one, second one is physical security. Doors, door hardware, windows, uh, glazing materials, locks. Third one, after environmental and physical, is the electronic security. Electronic access control, intrusion detection, video surveillance, perhaps even mass notification procedures or techniques. And finally, procedural security. Procedural could be visitor management. It could be uh, opening and closing procedures. It could be pre-employment background checks. It could be key control, key management. So what causes the need? Why do people commission a security assessment to be conducted? It could be, first of all, it could be because of some type of incident that's occurred at a facility. It could be a robbery or a theft or burglary or some kind of issue that has caused people to say, let's conduct a security assessment, or let's have one conducted. Or it could be a watershed incident. It could be something like Columbine, or 911, or Sandy Hook, something that impacts the entire country, and the impact causes people to sit back and think, maybe we need a security assessment. They may conduct a security assessment to try to minimize or reduce the liability exposure, and it may be in conjunction with crime prevention initiatives. Now, security risk can be either internal or external. It could be internal, it could be the type of facility, whether it's a school or a daycare center or a jewelry store or a pharmacy, or it could be external. It could be the surrounding lighting environment, or it could be the presence of some high-risk facility in near proximity to the area of concern or facility of concern. Who conducts security assessments? Security assessments can be conducted if you're a large corporation are going to have their own in-house talent. They're going to have their own corporate security or loss prevention professionals. Or you can have security consultants, trained, experienced, certified security consultants. Or, in this case, you can have law enforcement. You can reach out to law enforcement and ask them to do it. Or it can be a self-assessment, a simple check-the-box type of form that the individual can accomplish. The conduct of a high-quality security assessment is not something that law enforcement officers normally receive in their training, whether it's basic training or follow-up training. It requires a special knowledge and skill set associated with environmental security, physical security, electronic security, and procedural security.